John Deere 6000 series, 6M, 6R, three piece axle. So it makes it a three piece cause it has a center section and two axle housings. So this particular style will typically have the star shaped carrier. This tells us this has three gears in it. One, two, three. Now this is something that we do here on a rebuild axle. We drill and tap the kingpins. This particular one has what we consider a taller steering knuckle. Something I noticed on them was they've move the steering cylinder to the back and taking some of the stress or angle off of the inner steering tie rod. So this is, uh, this, the ratios are all the, I mean, ratios are different, but the piece of the axle, what I'm showing here is all the same. So this is with wheel angle sensor. So if you were using a wheel angle sensor, it would be installed there. If you don't use it, it's just gonna look just like that. Or excuse me, if it doesn't have it. So here basically it's um, available to use if you wanted it. If it's used, it's got a sensors already in it, you got a wire hanging out of it. So that's just something that's important for us to know. One thing we did learn, we sewed one. Customer actually had the wheel angle sensor installed, but he did not have an auto track on his tractor. So we were upgrading him to a different style axle and the tractor was throwing codes. He was throwing codes because the sensor wasn't plugged into the harness. So in the scenario where we can do upgrades and we don't have the wheel angle sensor and you don't use the auto track, all you do is install the, you remove your sensor, install it into the wiring harness, zip tie it somewhere up out of the way, and then your codes go away. Or, or we, this is not 100% proof yet, or the code happens only at startup. Again, this is not us doing a wheel fit most of the time, this is when you can't get one. We're doing an upgrade for you. So yes, I get it can be a little inconvenience, but if you've got a, you know, if you've got a GM or Ford truck and you've done anything to, you've changed tires on it, you know, you have that same issue, air pressure or whatever. So it's something we adapt to. And if it's something you're not willing to adapt to, then certainly say, no, I have to have, you know, I've got to have that so that we don't run into any issues.